take uh, funding away from critical public safety uh, resources for something else is, is not the answer. Now at nine, the Oakland Police Department could receive nearly $700 million from the city over the next two years. But what does that mean as far as policing? Thank you so much for joining us here tonight on Crown for News at 9. I'm Justine Waldman. I'm Jonathan McCall, Mayor Libby Schaff, releasing, releasing her proposed budget yesterday. More than $650 million she wants to go to the Oakland Police Department. That's nearly 20% of the entire city budget. Crown for Amanda Hari, live tonight with reaction from the head of the union for the officers and how that number compares to previous years. Amanda. Good evening. The Police Officers Association president tells me this money is badly needed. The mayor's office says it's about 18% of the overall city's budget and that that money is going to be a lower percentage than it has been in years past. There's a significant challenge in Oakland uh, with violent crime. And I, I think we need to keep on it and continue to address it. Mayor Libby Schaaf's office says her proposed budget preserves core police services so they can address the violent crime. It gives the police department $325 million in 2021 22 and $334 million in 2022 23. I think the mayor is doing the best she can. It's just a very difficult environment. Oakland Police Officers Association President Barry Donlin says this money is a start to getting the department what it needs, including more officers. Donlin has been an officer for more than two decades. He's currently a sergeant. He says there are 709 Oakland police officers, a five-year low, and crime is on the rise. Last year, more than 100 murders. We're already closing in on 50 murders for the year this year. Just Saturday morning, seven people were wounded in four shootings. This is video from Lake Merritt, where three men and one woman were injured. Oakland police are still looking for the people involved. Defunding the police is not the answer. But some funds will be going towards resources that will help take some issues off of officers' plates. $2.6 million will be used to create and ramp up a non-police response unit that will go to people having a mental health crisis. We've been supportive of that program all along. The president tells me the police department gets about 2,000 calls every day, and 100 to 150 of those are mental health related. So this new task force will be helpful with that. Amanda, can you go over the process of how the budget gets approved? This is just the proposal. Yeah, the next step, Justine, is for this to go to the city council. They have to review it and they have to vote on it. I reached out to the council president about what she thinks about this budget, and she hasn't gotten back to me just yet. Live, Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News.